Hey everybody, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video we're going to be having an overview of the two main types of YouTube ads. They're called Discovery Ads and In-Stream Ads. Now in another video we're going to look at how to take these ads out. If you'd like to learn more about this stuff there's going to be a link below this video which will take you to the VMI blog which will show you our definitive guide to YouTube advertising and if you're already on the site then lucky you, you can just scroll down and get some more wonderful information. So here we are over at YouTube and I've typed in how to make money. Anybody that types this in is clearly interested to a certain degree on the subject matter. Now to the untrained eye, it may look like this is a video that's ranked number one, number two, number three and so on. However, we can clearly see if we look here that this is actually an ad. So this person has put this video up as a YouTube discovery ad and that way it appears at the top of the search results for this particular keyword. So if this video does a good job, it could potentially get me to click through rather than click through on one of these videos which are ranking naturally and organically. So what would make somebody click through on this discovery ad? Well, there are three key elements. We have this main image, which we call the YouTube thumbnail. We have the headline. This, in this case, it's very clear. It's how to make money. And then we have this little bit of copy, a totally done for you system, co system copy, the system, blah, blah, blah. not the best I've ever seen in my life. Now, to be perfectly honest, if I was giving my honest opinion, I don't think this thumbnail is very good. It's boring. It's grey. It doesn't really stand out to me. I actually think that this one's quite good because it's got the green that stands out. Uh, this one's ranking number one, of course. But this wouldn't really get me to click personally. But doesn't mean that other people wouldn't click this ad. Now, if we click this ad, let's see what happens. It takes us to this particular video in question, which is nearly nine minutes long. So while this video is getting ready, I'm actually going to pause the video. Well, that's not the best scene, is it? Okay, that's, that's better. So basically, what this is, is this is a video which is going to educate and or entertain a certain audience about a subject matter and hopefully have them click through to our website. You can see we've got this call to action overlay here. There's going to be a link here. That is the goal, to get people to actually click through. So far, this video has got 450 views. I don't know how long the ad's been running. You can see it wasn't uploaded that long ago. Uh, so if we actually click through, which is the end goal of this video, we'll be taken to a website, um, Online Franchise Academy, and we kind of come down, we can see that this is this one of the guys here, I think, this is his partner, and if we click on this, we're going to probably have to opt in, there we go. So they're going to get basically a bunch of emails, they're going to build their email subscriber base, and they're going to send you a free presentation, and of course they're going to sell you something because... Why well, wouldn't they? I don't blame them for that. Now, that is a discovery ad. That means that the ad appears at the top of the search results for, us, for certain factors in the hope that people are going to click through. These types of YouTube ads are much better if you've got longer content, educational content. You want to maybe get people to click through to a squeeze page. Um, you're not in any kind of time constraint. It's a little bit of a slower process because people have got to you know, type in keywords and then click on your ad. So it's not something that's going to get you as quick results as perhaps an in-stream ad would do, which we'll look at in a second. But these are great ads to get started with because the rules are a lot less strict. Now, if we actually come to this video, which was actually the video that was ranking number one organically, before this video plays, we have an ad. This is the actual ad. It's playing. It's like a mini commercial before. Uh, by this guy who I think is Dan Henry and I've got a few options this is going to count down now, if I don't like this ad if I don't like what he's talking about if it doesn't resonate with me I can skip the ad now basically what he wants is one of two one of two things to happen I either skip the ad quickly because in that case he won't be paying any money or I click through to his website and then I take a specific desired action if I watch his video for 10 seconds or more and then skip, A, he's lost me as a potential customer, and B, he's going to end up paying for it. The first 10 seconds are very key within stream ads. It's your chance to either qualify people to click through or to leave. It doesn't matter if they leave because you don't pay, but if they stay after 10 seconds and then leave, you end up paying money. So it's a very important time. And you don't want to waste it with logos and flashy graphics. You want to get straight to the point. So let's just pretend that I am interested and I click on his little um, link. It's quite hard to see, but we'll click on this. 
I can already see it's going to get me to register for a webinar. This is going to be a webinar which is obviously isn't live. It may be mimicking a live webinar, but I'm, I know this video is this webinar is not going to be live. So let's say, yeah, I'm interested. I read the copy. Okay, available dates, blah, blah, blah. Click on one of these and I can watch the video, which will be a webinar basically. And then he'll try and sell me something. Again, I don't blame anybody for doing that. Uh, but this is an in-stream ad. And the other one we looked at was a discovery ad. They're both, they both work. In stream ads, the little commercials that you see before the video you'd intended to watch will get you quicker results, but you'll also get a lot more people, you know, not watching your content. And they're both two different types of YouTube ad. You, you can't really take the same video and use it as a discovery ad and use it as an in stream ad. You want to create specific videos focusing on one thing. So if you've got a longer educational based video, I would do a discovery ad. If you've got a quick, you know, one minute, 90 second, fast, quick, salesy type video to get people off of YouTube to your website, I choose an in-stream ad. Now, we're going to actually create one of these ads in another video. I'm going to put that video on the VMI blog. So again, the link is in the description. If you go there, you'll be able to watch that video on the blog and also learn a lot more about YouTube ads as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.